don't you want me to do? That's what the GT says. I mean, the GT came to impress, and that's what it's doing. Well, welcome, Jason. Thanks for coming out during uh, the end of the quarantine. And it's about time that we start taking cars out. <laughs> and what better car to take than this guy right here, who's been sitting here for two months, needs to be run. I actually think he's lost his mind if he's gonna give me a car. Because you guys have seen me drive, you know what's gonna happen. It's gonna come back because the car is better than you are. I believe that. <laughs> So hi, my name is Jason Woods. Welcome to Chasing the Apex. If you're new to the channel, what we do here is we look for driving Nirvana, the best roads, the best cars. Um, so this is a three-part special, probably a four-part special. And as you guys can see, um, they've given the car to us for a significant amount of time. So we're gonna see exactly what she's made of. What does that mean? Today, I picked up the car. Um, you know, I've commuted it a little bit. I found the longest way home, by the way, and you're catching me in that. And so if it's long and twisty, that's, that's the way I went home. And so my initial impressions getting back in the car, um, you know, especially after eight months is it's magical. You know, everything is designed and purpose placed for you, the driver. Now, Lotus people are gonna be like, well, of course it is. It's a Lotus. Well, you know what I've noticed today is while I've been driving it, you know, driving it home and driving it, how to go to work, is people don't know what it is. And they're always asking me, is that a Lamborghini? Is that a Ferrari? Is that a McLaren? It's because I don't think we're as familiar in the United States as our UK counterparts into what a Lotus is. So, and that became very apparent. And these were people of all ages. You can hear it winding up. I mean, I'm literally charging this corner, you know, and it's just got plenty of room. I mean, what don't you want me to do? That's what the GT says. I mean, the GT came to impress, and that's what it's doing. But if you're not giving it a shot, and you're not getting behind the wheel, I'm telling you, you're missing out. So, what do I think being back in a Lotus, right? What is my first thought? You know, I decided to take the long way home. Of course I did, it's me. Why wouldn't I, right? And the answer is, I feel like a driving deity. I mean, I'm doing the impossible. And it's not me, it's the car. And it's crazy. I can rev match anywhere I want. I can trail break into any corner effortlessly. So what do I think of Lotus? What are my initial reactions? This is gonna be a fun series. So can you believe that Lotus said, yeah, Jason, take the car, man. Don't worry about it. We're not worried about the car. The car is way better than you are. And here I am on my way home going, yep, the car is this good. And I can't wait to see what Bill says when I take it to the shop because I, I think he's gonna lose his mind. Talk about the interior a little bit. So it's all a contra throughout. I mean, there's all a contra and fiber, carbon fiber bits everywhere. And you can really feel, you know, that supercar 
feel, you know, it has it. The steering wheel is perfect. You know, and I like that the Alicante isn't all over the steering wheel. I like that it's in only these spots because, you know, as a friend of mine said, Alicante wears out after, you know, 10 seconds, right? So, I mean, in three months, it looks worn. But, you know, where you would be normally just handling the steering wheel, that's where the that's where there is no Alicantra. There's Alicantra accents everywhere. Thanks. More waving. So, and you see that throughout the car. I mean, there's carbon fiber bits. There's Alicantra. I mean, it's really they've done something here. You know, and the first time I got in the GT, I didn't really have time to look around. At this point, I've been in it about 45 minutes. You know what I mean? And you can tell. I mean, it's... They put some work into it. The fit and finish is here. And I don't know what people are talking about. Maybe they're talking... When they say the fit and finish isn't here, I think they may be talking about a uh, first-generation Evora. This is not an Evora. This is an Evora platform. The GT is a different car. And I've driven both. And the Evora is good, too. But the GT is really, really good. That's what Lotus does, right? Lotus does this better than anybody else. It goes in, it wrecks canyons. I mean, it's all about eating turns alive and anything in it. It's just a voracious creature. That's what Lotus is. Lotus is a creature that's designed to destroy corners. support. Thank you to Simon at Lotus Cars especially for making this happen. Tom at Boardwalk Lotus for making this work. Lotus Cars UK, thank you very much for giving us the opportunity. Um, in the next video, you're going to see us go through it with a fine tooth comb. You're going to see the Porsche Ninja go through and he's going to be like, hey man, this is what it is. It's 416 horsepower. This is what makes it tick. This all aluminum machine that's built to race, this is why. And then you're going to see him give a test drive. Surprise, surprise, Bill. That's what you're doing. And then we're going to take it on a proper drive and give her a proper thrashing. Thanks for watching Chase in the Apex.